It's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading session, the 16th of June, Friday, 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the stats. FTSE finishes at 7463, up 44 points. The German DAX up 60 points. The French CAC up 46. FTSE MIB up as well. Okay, in terms of the market ending. Now, one would not have uh, thought that, especially given the uh, ongoing, well, certainly the uh, en masse sell off yesterday in the NASDAQ and the SP on the back of obviously Mr. Trump being investigated. Now we have Jared Kushner investigated as well. Also, with regards to Miss Yellen's hawkish stance, okay, her interpretation that uh, the uh, <clears throat> the market certainly need to embrace tapering as well, okay, even though she's looking through the uh, the actual uh, temporary uh, move in uh, inflation uh, lower, she's certainly looking through that altogether. So she certainly wants to go ahead. Uh, she's also looking in terms of uh, she's looking through the uh, weaker data recently as well. So she's certainly expecting stronger inflation, stronger growth. And that's the reason why she's certainly going ahead with potential tapering. Now, that certainly has spooked the market, caused the dollar to rally, as you've seen in the USD JPY trade. OK, certainly has caused the dollar to rally. OK, and that certainly has hurt commodities to a large extent as well. Now, the FTSE 100 today <coughs> certainly did rally back, snap back rally as well, especially option expiry. So it's certainly uh, positioning in the market very, very strange, certainly a spike higher. And we'll certainly come down to the bottom of that as well. In terms of uh, economic data that came out today, <clears throat> uh, I think it was all about the BOJ certainly maintaining its QE or easy monetary stance uh, going forward. No signs of tapering there at all. And that certainly sent the USD JPY up, which in turn obviously helped global equities rally to a large extent. Now, that rally certainly came to an abrupt end uh, as soon as we got the economic data out from the US. Now, <clears throat> Economic data from uh, Europe, you had Italian data certainly coming in weaker than expected, CPI inflation data coming in in line. Uh, then we had the uh, building permits certainly come in and housing stats come in for the US, certainly on the weaker side. Uh, Michigan sentiment certainly came in on the weaker side. Labor market conditions also came in on the weaker side. Uh, Baker Hughes rig count certainly came in on the stronger side, therefore exerting more uh, weakness on the price of oil and commodities in general. OK, so really, from my understanding and my interpretation, <clears throat> that certainly is risk negative. We have weaker economic data and we have Miss Yellen obviously attempting to uh, go ahead and uh, certainly attempting to raise uh, raise rates. Now, that certainly doesn't bode well for the economy, nor does it bode well for the equity market. So for my interpretation, that certainly is risk negative, especially with regards to the <clears throat> FTSE 100, given the fact that you had three BOE members yesterday calling for a potential rate hike, again, that's risk negative. <clears throat> okay, so let's bring up the German DAX first and foremost. Okay, so looking at the German DAX in the daily chart, it was an inside bar, uh, inside bar consolidation, so the bear's certainly in control there. 60 minute chart, you have. Uh, a potential H&S formation brewing now, okay? <clears throat> you made a higher high, but you failed to make a higher low. You've made an equal low here, as you can see here, now looking for a lower high around this fib. Uh, fib, we're currently around the fib. 50% here, fib 61%, and then obviously looking to potentially reverse lower, especially given the fact that US markets certainly are subdued and are under pressure. Looking at the French CAC now, and the French CAC are looking at the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, looking at the daily chart. So again, continue to make that uh, lower, lower, lower high. Uh, next potential uh, gap fill below. So again, look out for below. 60 minute chart certainly have bounced, but we held that FIB 75% before reversing. You have an unfilled gap left behind and certainly a target remains the same. You're still making lower lows, lower highs in the 60 minute chart and therefore one would presume that to continue. Uh, with the potential target being the unfilled gap below. So let's keep an eye out for that potential gap below, folks, and watch out and, and uh, certainly expect that to close. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, again, this is a conundrum, given the fact that after hours now, we've certainly rallied. Uh, we've certainly rallied to a pivot high, currently at 7483, which is very, very strange. We have the H&S formation. We've certainly uh, on or around that potential neckline on the H&S formation. We had an inside bar with the FTSE itself hitting a pivot high of 7476. Okay, so still an inside bar on the daily chart. You have FIB 
Fib 60, 1%, and then previous support equals resistance of 74.94. So those are the two potential zones for resistance on the FTSE. Now, FTSE itself on the 60 minute, like I said, making lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so you've made a lower low. Now we're looking for a lower high or a potential double bottom obviously being held. So let's see exactly how the FTSE unfolds. Okay, 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, you have potential support here at 7440, 7438 and then unfill gap below at uh, 7420. So certainly expecting that gap to close. We certainly close this gap here. Okay, so this gap certainly was closed uh, today at uh, 7474, given the options expiry uh, rally. Then we obviously retrace back down to 7440 before we've uh, actually popped after hours, which is quite strange. The strength after hours has been pretty phenomenal. Not too sure what we can put that down to, whether it's obviously market makers, etc., etc. I'm not too sure. Uh, certainly baffling, certainly puzzling. Uh, the 60 minute chart shows, does show you previous resistance equals support, previous support equals resistance at the 7490 zone. So let's see if that holds. Okay, in terms of the euro stocks at present, let's see exactly where that stands. Uh, euro stocks are certainly helped by the Greek potential Greek bailout and also stronger auto sales helping although weaker Italian data certainly weighing it down okay so again fib 61% held we've retraced now the euro USD certainly has uh, risen back up to 1.12 so again that's risk negative so just bear that in mind it's risk negative and therefore you are looking at a risk aversion or and the market certainly selling off so again certainly keep that in mind okay euro USD at present uh, certainly has retraced quite substantially okay you can see here certainly pushing higher on the back of that weaker dollar and weaker economic data out the US okay so again looking for risk aversion with a stronger euro hurting exports okay so bear that in mind also with regards to the uh, GBP USD as well GBP USD remains strong and one would have presumed that that would exert pressure on the FTSE 100 and keep it at bay so again Certainly looking for risk aversion on the FTSE 100 too. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of, uh, of uh, European equities. Uh, bear in mind also, folks, the late reports that are coming out at present. You have the uh, Greenfield protesters now are marching towards Downing Street. Okay, marching towards Kensington uh, Council as well. Uh, so certainly not looking good. Okay, uh, so... Uh, for my own interpretation and my understanding that certainly is risk aversion okay so keep an eye on that that will certainly cause uh, the market certainly to swoon and it's certainly going to risk aversion more than certainly come under pressure political uncertainty political uh, instability especially with brexit stocks to talk starting on monday all indicate risk aversion all indicate for a move lower so watch out below on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now